Hello and welcome back. I am discussing here the theories of evolution. I have already discussed the Lamarckism. Today I am going to discuss Darwinism or the theory of natural selection. It is a theory of organic evolution developed by an English naturalist Charles Darwin. This theory states that all species of organism arise and develop through the natural selection of small inherited variations that increase the individual's ability to compete, survive and reproduce. There are some observations by Charles Darwin, like when Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Island, he discovered several species of finches that varied from island to island which helped him to develop his theory. Finally, in November 1859, Darwin published his observation and conclusion in the form of a book. The full title of his book was On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. There are some silent features of Darwin's theory of natural selection. First, all, first is overproduction. It means all organisms possess enormous fertility. They multiply in geometric ratio. And uh, some examples of this uh, feature are insects. Insects lay hundreds of eggs. Plants also produce thousands of seeds. Fishes also pr produce hundred eggs at a time. And in mammal, rabbit, rabbit gives birth to six young ones in one litter. And uh, there are four litters in a year. Next is limited food and space. Despite of rapid multiplication of all types of species, food and space and other resources remain limited. It means they are not liable to increase according to the production of the species. Next is struggle for existence. It means competition exists among all living things to survive in nature. And the struggle may be intraspecific, it means between the same species of the uh, organism, or it may be interspecific, it means the struggle may be between the different species, or the struggle may be environmental, it means between the organism and the environmental factors like the natural disasters and disease. Next is uh, Variation. Except the identical twin, no two individuals are uh, similar and their requirements are also not exactly the same according to Darwin. The variations are continuous. It means uh, the useful or helpful uh, adapt, uh, variations, uh, which are uh, useful variations, which are uh, helpful in adaptation of an organism. To us in its surrounding would be passed on to the next generation. But uh, while the um, non-useful uh, variations will disappear gradually. Next is survival of the fittest. Originally, uh, this phrase uh, was an idea of Harvin Spencer, uh, Spencer who used the phrase the survival of the fittest first time and while Darwin named it as natural selection. Um, it means uh, the organism which are provided with favorable variations would survive because they are fittest to face the surrounding, while the unfit organism will destroy. You can take the example of reptiles. Actually, during evolution of reptiles, giant reptiles and um, the uh, dinosaurs also it's, uh, appeared. But ma and majority of them were herbivores. But due to certain climatic change on the vegetation, and the vegetation disappear, and therefore most of them become extinct. However, small animals who could change themselves, and who could change their feeding habit from herbivores to carnivores, and they survived because they could easily get adapted to the change environment. Next is inheritance of useful variations. It means the organism, after getting fitted to the surrounding, transmit their useful variations to the next generation, while the non-useful variations are eliminated. It means that um, uh, 
uh, okay next is uh, formation of new species darwin considered that useful variations are transmitted to the offspring and appear more prominently in succeeding generations and it means after some generation these continuous and gradual variations in the possessor would be so distinct that they form new species okay there are some criticism of natural selection theory first is inheritance of small variations mm, according to the natural selection theory only useful variations are transmitted to the next generation but sometimes small variations uh, which are not useful are also inherited over specialization of some organs organs some organs uh, like uh, tusk of elements antlers of deer have developed so much that uh, instead of providing usefulness to the possessor they often um, have uh, um, give hindrance to them this theory cannot explain these facts vestigial organs uh, why vestigial organs are uh, present in some animals when they have no functions according to the natural selection theory vestigial organs should not be present now arrival of the fetus the theory ex only explain the survival of the fetus but uh, the theory is unable to explain the arrival of the fetus next is degeneration of organs the theory does not account for the degeneration of certain organs in animals now this continuous variation the theory fails to explain the cause of sudden change in the body actually the main drawback of darwin's theory was lack of knowledge of heredity darwin could not explain the dif uh, could not differentiate between the continuous and discontinuous variation darwin himself was conscious of the inadequacies of his theory when he remarked that i am convinced that natural selection has been the most important but not the exclusive means of modification okay this was the basic of darwinism thank you for watching my video